Biohacking has become quite the hot topic. In fact, it's become basically an industry. There are so many biohackers looking to sell you the next expensive piece of biohacking equipment, but there are some overlooked biohacks that even these professional biohackers don't even touch on. I'm talking about forgotten biohacks. And today I've got one that's gonna tickle your tassel. Literally. <laughs> toilet paper. So why toilet paper? First of all, that zone downstairs is highly absorbent. So then if you're a biohacker trying to avoid microplastics, BPA, PFAS, these, all these forever chemicals, and chlorine and all these toxins, why wouldn't you look into your toilet paper to see if it's those toxins free? Well, I actually looked into this entire topic about a year ago and I posted a video on my fitness channel about this. Well, I ended up purchasing this supposedly toxin-free bamboo toilet paper and I was using that for a couple of months, but then I just kind of migrated back towards the other one I was using because of convenience and the other one, the bamboo one, it was more expensive and what about what But this is where things get interesting. When I decided to re-look back into this topic more deeply, I found out that the toilet paper I was initially using that I thought was bad might actually be even better than some of those natural recycled toilet papers that seem healthier. So maybe don't judge a toilet paper by the packaging cover or the company it comes from too quickly without looking into it. But before I get into what I discovered to look out for when it comes to selecting a more pure toilet paper, well, what about non-toilet paper options? <laughs> One article I saw online suggested using a community rag. And then just like, you know, putting it in the washing machine every once in a while. Oh, wait, 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 wait. don't start that load yet. I got one more rag to put in. Absolutely not. Uh, anyways, another option would be using a bidet, right? Just get that water right up in there. But I would assume you would also probably wanna wipe at least a little bit as well. Or third option, just don't wipe at all. I mean, animals don't wipe. If you're truly a naturalist, whew, man. Anyways, assuming I'm just gonna use toilet paper, what now might be some things to look out for when it comes to selecting a toilet paper to hopefully avoid all those potential issues I talked about earlier. So one of the first surprising things I found out about finding a toilet paper that isn't as sinister is apparently you wanna look for toilet paper that isn't recycled because recycled toilet papers, apparently when they're recycled, might concentrate microplastics and BPA in the recycling process from recycled materials way more so than freshly made toilet paper. Now I know there's a whole environmental factor thing going on here as well, but just sticking to the biohacking topic, the recycled toilet paper, based on the articles I've read and the tests run on these papers, had a higher concentration of BPA and other microplastics. So now regarding bleaching, most toilet paper is bleached. Otherwise it's gonna probably look brown, right? So toilet paper looks white like this. It's been probably bleached. Apparently there's a process of bleaching that doesn't produce or leaves less dioxins and apparently that's bad for your health. Apparently that's like your skin could get irritated to it if you're actually even just sensitive to it. And you wanna look for a toilet paper that's elemental chlorine free bleached. Apparently, apparently. So not recycled, elementally chlorine free bleached. And then finally trying to find a toilet paper that's PFAS free, that forever chemical that's been stirring up all kinds of controversy. Well, I was looking at some articles where tests were run on many different toilet paper brands. And apparently these tests look for the presence of organic fluoride inside many different toilet paper brands. And what they were looking for is toilet paper brands with no organic fluoride because that was likely an indicator that it was PFAS free. So if there's a toilet paper brand and you can run a test or if you found a test ran on it, look for PFAS free or organic fluoride free. And then this next one should just be obvious. It should just be obvious, but I'm just gonna say it. Look for toilet paper that's unscented, right? Free of scents and free of like waxes or any material that you know tries to make it silkier or smooth because that's just more chemicals, right? Especially the fragrances. Like, I just think there's no need for that. If you're putting fragrances up there on your toilet, do you know what I mean? Like, is there really a need for that? Anyway, so then what kind of toilet paper am I using right now? Well, to my surprise, it turns out that the one I had been using before I switched to the bamboo one and then switched back to this one now, actually is pretty decent. And it's the Scott's brand toilet paper, Scott's one ply 
1,000 sheets of roll or whatever toilet paper. Apparently when they tested it on the article, they found zero organic fluoride, indicating that it's probably PFAS free. Also, it's not recycled. So it was pretty much BPA free and other microplastic free, you know, from the, from the fresh trees of, I think, Canada. Now, when I was looking into this further, according to the Scott's website in their little FAQ section, they did say this was made with an elemental chlorine-free bleaching process. So they're claiming that they're not using the chlorine that produces all those like dioxins or whatever that are that's like harsh on the skin and might cause issues. Now, regarding this not being recycled, according to Scott's, this is FSC or Forest Stewardship Council certified, which I think means they're a little bit more conscious about what trees they cut down or use or whatever. At least there's some kind of certification to make your hippie brain feel a little bit better when you purchase this stuff. I mean, regarding the biohacking for a simple toilet paper that you can really get at basically any store, this pretty much covered all those boxes to a decent extent. I mean, maybe I would like to find one that wasn't even bleached, just completely raw, but maybe that would also just be uncomfortable or something or clog up the toilet. I don't know. But yeah, I would say surprisingly this brand, the Scott's brand actually isn't that bad. And I've just been blessed to fall into this luck. It's actually due to my wife. I want to give a shout out to her. I used to use two ply from who knows what brands, whatever was on sale. And then she's like, no, I like one ply. And I'm like, really? That stuff breaks apart and your finger ends up going. And then I was like, all right, fine. I'll use it and just kind of be very careful and well, I actually like it better now. So yeah, anyways, this is open-ended. If you guys have heard about any toilet paper brand that's like just the purest, the best, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I'm thinking about maybe making this a summer series, forgotten biohacks and forgotten biohack topics, one every week. I have plenty of other ideas and new things that I've been exploring. There's so much more to this. So stay tuned for next week's video. But you gotta vote.